Okay, you guys, I almost got you a guest that we could show you this week. And I, he's a very nice man and he knows a lot of things and he's very polite. He almost never uses profanity. I thought he'd be perfect. But the only problem, you know, it was almost perfect. The only problem was he talks about forbidden topics. And um, his name is Joel and his last name is Skousen. He's a consultant for people that want to make intentional communities or uh, alliances with other people in their area and also for uh, strategic relocation to places that he feels will be better in the coming unpleasantness, which he uh, gets into the scenarios of nuclear war, which he thinks is inevitable and not so cheerful things like that. Um, but he talks about the terrible pandemic that we're in right now. And he says some things that are true about it, which of course we're not allowed to say on this platform because that would be terrible. You wouldn't be able to handle these true things about the terrible pandemic and you're supposed to stay really scared and obedient. Um, and Joel's not good for that. So if you are brave and you think that you could stand watching somebody who's unacceptable, then there is a link below this video and you can also go to lostartsradio.com slash live and it'll show where uh, the forbidden conversation that is really unacceptable with Joel Skousen is visible and you can stay in touch that way. What else? Um, remember, we have Saturday shows that are um, called Lost Arts Radio dot Lost Arts Radio Live, and that's usually about current events in some way relevant stuff to what's happening in the world right now, and it's followed by meeting of Planetary Healing Club, which is a private um, group that you're invited to if you ever want to come and join us. It's accessed through uh, planetaryhealingclub.com, and it's for those people that have come down to the point where you want to actually work on yourself, get your your physical health back and access uh, real health information that's violently suppressed in the U.S. and consciousness work, which is the reason for getting the physical health back is not just a, an end in itself. It makes the internal work much easier. And that's what we're looking at in Planetary Healing Club. So consider that if it's useful, but whether you join us there or not, the um, suggestion, I think that's the best right now, is to take account, kind of do an assessment of where you stand, what you need to change for uh, lifestyle elements that affect your physical health. Um, don't put it off anymore. Do it now. It may not be exactly January 1st, but uh, New Year's resolutions that only last a few days aren't very useful anyway. You need a, a permanent lifestyle upgrade for many reasons. And when you get your health in good shape, it becomes easier to do your internal work, which is where you're not supposed to know that the hidden power actually is. It's not, it's not just a uh, belief system that you need to make yourself feel more comfortable while things fall apart. It's real PowerPoint access. And I think from what I've seen, that's the biggest fear of the global rulers. You know, not just that you'll know the scams that they're running, which is good to know, but the forgotten normal state of all of us, the ones that they've got imprisoned in hypnosis right now, that if that breaks, the whole game is over. And if it doesn't take many people to break it because it spreads its real consciousness, which is not belief, it's different change in internal experience. It's highly contagious, more than any of the pandemics that are being talked about in a good way. So I'm inviting you as an individual to become patient one in the consciousness pandemic and take a minute and stop and think what you need to do to help yourself with lifestyle upgrades, what you're eating and your sleeping patterns and exercise and mundane stuff that should not be boring because it affects everything about your life. And then use that as a platform to find out what's hidden on the non-physical level, which is really important. And I advise 
anybody interested in that to start that search immediately, not for belief, but for the reality behind it. I'm not talking about another religion. It's way deeper than that. And it's the biggest fear, as I say, of the global rulers. And it's what you've been carrying around forever. It's just like in the original Wizard of Oz movie with um, Dorothy looking for a way to get back to Kansas, which was her home. You could take that as an allegory. And at the end, this angel called the Good Witch of the West, I think was what they called her, said, uh, by the way, Dorothy, you've been looking all over the place uh, to find Oz, so that, or to find the, the ruler of Oz so he could do this miracle and send you back to Kansas to home. And you never needed it. You never needed somebody else to do it. Look at your feet. You know, you have these bright red slippers on and they have the ability to do it. So I think it's true, not about your shoes, but about you. Find the slippers, use them, because it's not just about getting in touch with your home again. If you do that, when you do that, everybody else gets affected and helped too. You're carrying this massive power. Find it. It's not, it's not fake. It's real. And uh, that's our work along with everything else. So anyway, sorry for the long excuse for why I couldn't bring the guest on. That's really the reason because of his unacceptable speech. And use the link below and you'll see what I'm talking about. And thanks for being here. I really appreciate you. I honestly do see you as the hope for the future. And um, use your time well. Have a good week and we'll meet you next time. Thank you. <laughs>